Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Orange Gillen and today we're going to be watching Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest episode 9 and I am nervous about this episode because what's going to happen? Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? Because there's going to be one of each probably at least. So Fairy Tale has been brainwashed-ish by Toka the White Mage. Also found out that the city they're in, Draca, Dracil, can't remember, was built on top of of Alderaan, the earth dragon, or wood dragon, I think. Yeah, wood dragon, that's what it is. So now, a bunch of them are in trouble. So we have to figure out what's going to happen and how they're going to get out of this situation, or if they're going to get out of this situation in this episode. Probably not, but I'm expecting to see a bunch of nice fights. Of course, it's going to be a very much uphill battle for Natsu's team, Team Natsu, because it's most a fairy tale. And then you have the heavy hitters on the other side as well, like Jalal, Loxus, Mira Jane, a couple others. So yeah, it's not going to be great for them. <laughs> yeah, so you might have noticed that the title is slightly different. I'm going to be trying something new to see if that'll get more viewers in. Uh, I'm rearranging the title kind of thing so it's more in line with other reactors so that way hopefully i can get some more viewers because at the end of the day want to have some viewers you know so uh it's going to be like episode or like the kind of like my thing and then episode name playlist is still going to be the let's let's watch but i'm dropping that from the titles i think so we'll see how that goes see if this will get more views Aside from the fact that this is episode 9, I'm apparently going to be one of the bigger episodes, probably. I don't know. Because it's like, thankfully I haven't seen a lot, but there are some spoilers that I'm trying to like, nope, 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 trying to dodge around. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, uh, I don't have anything else. Uh, my personal stuff that has kept me from easily recording this stuff is gone. I was part of a jury, so that's over with now. And, uh... Still don't know what's going on with Target because they've cut hours like a lot just in time for like the holiday season because there. OK, sidetrack. There was Christmas lights and wreaths on September 19th in the store. It's not even October. The spooky season has failed us. It's failed to hold the line. Ah, it drives me crazy. Freaking retail chains not understanding the holiday seasons. Like, holiday seasons are supposed to be at least within the month. There's a joke that I've heard kind of modified, but it's like, the only reason there's a war on Christmas, quotations, is because it's illegally annexed November and is conducting a special military operation into October. Of course, it's now extended to September, so joy. All right. Yeah, all right, that little bit of griefing out of the way, let's get on with this episode. Very interesting head. Which is why mm. we simply cannot allow anybody who would dare threaten Alderaan to live. Or so I'm told. Or so I've heard. Oh, so I've heard, that's what it is. Oh yeah, Gajil, too. Yeah, brilliant. Oh yeah, that was something else. It's still going on in the intro, and I'm wiping my screen down, but that was something else that happened last time, where Episode 8 just had a hard time trying to get past the copyright stuff. Like, I was playing Whack-A-Mole, trying to get it through. Um, it's like, I would edit it, upload it, Section would be blocked. I would go in, edit it again, export it, re-upload. Another section would get blocked or like same section in that same area. So it's like finally I got something out. So if it looked a little choppier than normal, that's the reason why. And I think it was because there's like two segments that I wanted to keep in there. And there's like the gray and Juvena. Yeah, the gray, the gray and Juvena segment. And then Lucy finding not Naku and whatever her name was in the back. <laughs> it's like a masters there. All right. So how long are we going to keep this? Everyone 
look so culty? <laughs> and of course, you're lost. here too. Please tell me what's going on. The thing is, I don't oh, really there's care Toka. about Alderaan. Why they're all barefoot? He does possess a great magic, and I will white it out as soon as I possibly can. Once I have secured you lot, the entirety of Fairy Tale will be under my control. Except for Guild Arts. Hell are you? Oh, how tragic. Toka held you in such high regard, but you seem to have completely forgotten about her existence. <laughs> Not the first time, I think. Mira Jane, tell me, what's the meaning of this? It looks to me like we're missing some people. I believe I said to bring all of them to me. Please forgive me, Holy White Mage. It won't happen again. Mira, you don't take orders from her. Elfman, Lisana, punish Mira Jane right now. Oh, that's... Learn to follow through on the Holy White Mage's orders, big sis. That wasn't very manly of you. I've never been more disappointed. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Get off of her! <laughs> you better stay out of this, Salamander. Yeah, very culty. I wonder if it could be Toka's fault that I'm missing some people. Everyone is being controlled by the White Mage. I was still able to tell you all of this because of somebody else. Her name is Toka. She's inside the White Mage. Oh yeah, it is Toka's. But for whatever the reason, she seems to need to keep them alive for the time being. Some kind of collective power, you know? Like, of being able to absorb the power. Again, why were they all barefoot? What did you do to my family? Don't worry, I simply dyed them all white. Dyed white? That's racist. <laughs> I had to put that in there at least one. It is my obligation to control you. I still don't understand why you're doing this. Mm -mm. Just like your friends, you'll get it once you're dyed white too. <laughs> what the... My magic energy's being drained. <laughs> Come on, break out of it. Hey! Wendy! Again, Wendy is the goat. Ice make. Whoa! Nice one. Listen, we need now, to retreat and regroup. Run. We've got a moment to run. Make strategy. Run. You can't get through. Luck, sister. Right. <laughs> He's mirroring that fish guy. After them, got it. Stand down. We can let them run. Remember, they have no choice but to come back to us. <laughs> and besides, I can't let a minor distraction uh -oh. keep us from our original plan. Oh, is that the heart of Alderon there? We will die, Alderon White. And we'll use your powers to do it. Oh, Dragon Slayer? Oh, no. She erased everyone's magic energy? The entire guild? She's quite powerful, but she also caught us off guard. I mean, wasn't that hard. They the made it easy. The who's going around erasing wizards' magic energy to dye them white is one half of her. The other is Toka, who has a pure heart and a powerful crush on Natsu. <laughs> Someone's got a secret admirer. I have no idea who she is. His scent isn't... Or is like his nose memory isn't remembering her? I know the white mage is plotting a whiteout of the five dragon gods as well. In a whiteout state, your magic energy is completely controlled by the white mage. Whether you have none to your full potential, it's all up to her. She can even manipulate you to do anything she wants. The first step of her plan with the five dragon gods was to white out the water dragon god, Merkphobia. Was he too strong? The White Mage was plotting to use the Water Dragon God's overwhelming power to white out the remaining Dragon God. Ah, uh, get one to get the others. Because the Water Dragon God was defeated, she ended up having to revise her whole strategy. She needs to find a power that rivals the Water Dragon God. Something comparable to white out all five. So it's another... Tale. I mean, yes. The White Mage's initial plan was to infiltrate also, the fairy tale. Hmm and then white out everyone in the guild. Afterwards, she'd erase oh, us all, meaning death. Because of the water dragon god- It's like almost the inverse of Zeref. It's like but where she wants to, like, eliminate everything. Death, 
Until then, we're completely at her mercy. So how do we break her spell on our guildmates? I mean, beat her, we can but... somehow defeat the White Mage, I believe that would set them all free. Let's go! It's not gonna be that simple not to, of course. She just said everybody's lives are in her hands. A simple command to die from the White Mage, and all our friends in the guild will be gone like that. No way! Uh, Juvia, did it? What's going on? Juvia, can you mention that, um... It happened at specific oh, time. no, What's right. Happening? Oh, that was what she was meaning, like, saying that they- she was gonna force- oh, god. Why- okay. I was thinking of Dragon Slayers, the two of them. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. This is the orb of the right hand. This is the orb of the right hand. Yeah, Juvia was not fully- Left hand, right shoulder, left shoulder, and the back. Your orders are to locate and destroy the remaining four orbs. I was so about to say earlier. Power. I do not possess the abilities needed to break these orbs. So do what I cannot and band together to unite your powers and complete your mission. Yeah. Fairy tale. Do what you do best. What is going on? Why is Juvia like copying? <gasps> are you back with us now? What was that? Those were the words of the white mage. Toka just gave us a message. She wants to destroy the dragon's orbs by weaponizing our friends against their will? This might be our only chance, so let's use it. What's your plan? We can't beat the white mage to free them. But what about trying to rescue each one of them individually? How? We'll have Windy use her healing magic. I doubt it'll work while they're being controlled. But it should be possible if they're unconscious. Unconscious? Okay, I get it. <laughs> Round two of the Battle of Fairytale. We've got to go kick their butts, right? It's the Battle of Fairytale! Just seal edition! I'm getting <laughs> I think we're perfectly capable so, of doing it. So, yeah, that again. Said, some of them. Loxus, Mira, Jalal, and Gajio will be tough. I'm just glad Mr. Gildarts isn't here at the moment. None of that matters. Because I'll take them all on. So are they going to split down. up or are they going to like ambush each person? Slow down! You can't just rush in without a plan and expect to beat all of them! Sure I can! They'll wish they never messed with me! It's gonna be a fight party! I'm all fired up! I mean, he's... <laughs> he's not wrong in this, but it's, because it's, he sees it's some kind fairy tale. Or like a contest to see who's the strongest. Let's go! I mean, I guess that's the best way to put it, otherwise you'd have to concentrate on what's actually wrong. Because if you think about it, that actually does make yeah. a good amount of, like, mental sense. Like, treat it as a game rather than I life or death. I wonder, what was Jalal even doing at our guild? No, that doesn't matter right now. Are we going to have a Jalal versus Urza round like two, three? <laughs> She's not wrong. A fairy tale. You have two objectives to complete. First is destroy the four remaining orbs. Doing so will defeat Alderaan once and for all. And second, take down Natsu, Lucy, Urza, Grey, Wendy, and those two cats. We must exterminate all those who dare oppose the creed of white magic. <laughs> oh, okay, there's Alzac and Biska. Okay, what's Graham's gonna be doing? Playing defense or like protecting? Protecting Toka, white mage? And meanwhile, the people at Drasil are like, Juvia? Why are these crazy people running around? Fight them one by one? That's right. So you want to tell me why you're following me? Because, dear, it's been too long since you and I have had some one-on-one. -on -one. This really doesn't <laughs> seem to be a flirting situation to me. Hmm, I realize that. I mean, when is she going to do it? I can't actually use my magic right now. Uh-oh. Say what? I'm not being controlled by her. Yeah, magic. she said that earlier, I but that the white mage still has a hold on my magic power. And unless we're able to use the separation enchantment on her to reclaim everybody's magic, I don't know if we can ever get it back. So even if we save all of our buddies, without magic power, they won't be much help in a Oh fire no, afterwards. yeah, uh oh. Please, my darling. I'm feeling incredibly vulnerable right now. Please promise that you'll protect me. Just stay by my side, okay? Oh, Gray, your words are making my heart. Thank you, sing. Gray. Can you say that once more? I'm begging you. Jeez, you guys are always flirting with each other. Gonna make me jealous, babies. They're flirting. We're jealous. Big Slow <gasps> brings back some memories, huh, Gray? <laughs> That's some grit strength, guys. Fairy tale. 
We had our own little one-on-one, -on -one and I beat the crap out of you. Well... Only because of your dirty tricks. Of course, you're gonna fight me fair and square this time, aren't ya? Maybe. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm right behind you. Hey there! Uh, who's that? It's oh, oh, Thunder Legion. Fairy Bomb Gremlin! Find somewhere to hide! You dare oppose the creed of white magic. The Thunder Legion is here to pass still barefoot on you. I thought you guys were into the creed of Loxus. Ha <laughs> uh, uh, boy. Lucy. Yes. <laughs> it's like, Lucy's like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> really gotta go up against Mira? But I've got a superstar on my side. Open! Gate of the Lion! Loki! It looks like more than a handful of trouble. But, uh... Honestly, I don't think I can take down Mira. Really scary. Tagging in Virgo too. It's been far too long, princess. I'm going to be perfectly candid with you here. The three of us won't be able to beat Mira. You're right. Yeah. She's a baddie. Still, we've got no other choice. Ooh, what's our dress? Which one? Hey, Leo. Ready? Kidding me? You geezers are way too easy to beat. Not to! Yeah, yeah. Keep trying, kid. Huh? And here's Gajiel, of course. <laughs> there we go, another round. Those clothes do not fit him. <laughs> Time to say goodnight, Salamander. Seems like it's been forever since the two of us had a good fight. Okay, we got three of them. Now we just need Windy and Urza's. <laughs> of course I had that. Yep, not so you're not winning that one. I realize you're not too bright, but I know <laughs> the Iron Dragon, remember? Yeah, yeah. Well, my flames are pretty bright, remember? <laughs> and they could get real hot. I mentioned it before, but I really like the music for this new season. Oh, he's going uh, shadow mode too? Dragon Slayer Secret Art! Karma! Demon Iron God Sword! <laughs> I ain't the same. Oh god, you understand. <laughs> Neither am I. Yes, it's been it's been too long since we've seen that mode. Finally get serious, Salamander. It's about time. Yeah, it's time I seriously kicked your butt. <laughs> You're happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It looks like you and I have got a score to settle ourselves. I'm not keeping any score, I promise. Uh-oh. <laughs> As their partners, the two of us should not to, I'm uh, not to. Happy is in trouble. And afterwards, I'll show you the creed of white magic. <laughs> There's no way I can ever beat a real warrior like you, Louie. <laughs> Oh, refrain of lightning, thunder. Lightning. <laughs> well, since you admit defeat like that, I'll just let you go. At least for now. Yeah. <laughs> Happy's really confused. Oh, come on, have a thunder strike. Super sorry about this, Lily. I'm sorry, fish. <laughs> <laughs> With a sneak attack, let's tail! It's like, alright, Lucy, time to use that brain and strategize. Well, no. <clears throat> okay, which soul? Satan? Yeah. Which one of you wants to be tormented first? Oh, please, Mary, please pick me! 
<laughs> it, it wheels like the same. Virgo! May I please have another serving, Miss Mara Jane? That was wonderful. Seriously? You're gonna have to go through me. I'll protect my bride. Your what now? And Beast King? What is it? Yeah. It looks different. I guess I never knew that you were so powerful. Let's see which one of us is the real lion. Come on! Oh, is that like a lion monster? And And there goes her dress. It's like saw that coming. You'll be like us, pure white. Yeah. What are you talking about? She's so fast. Yeah. That's cool, but I have a brand new trick of my own. This might hurt a teensy little bit, so forgive me. Wait, what's that? Signal? Huh? Wait, two of them at the same time? <laughs> Really going for the magical girl transformation. That's new. Did she combine two of them, or what's going on? Oh, mixed form. She keeps getting better. She keeps getting better. Come on, Lucy. Have a little bit more confidence in yourself. You could do shit like this. Come on. It's like, seriously, Lucy, come on. You could do stuff like this. Also, when did she figure that out she could do that, you know? I'm trying to think, like, I feel like there was a game that you could do that. Like, combine two different forms into, like, one. But I'm blanking on it. And it's not like the Pokemon Fusion mod. I mean, yes, but there's also something else I... Blanking on it, but I feel like I've seen something that was similar where you could combine forms Not okay again, not the Pokemon fusion mod and not some mobile game All right, what again what going on? Um, so what I can figure out is Toka needs to hit those crystals for Alderaan to either get weak enough so she can control him because the crystals weren't explained well i think it's just like they were part of him and they were the cities were built with them but also what do they do like i said that like they were the hearts or something like that but no in this case it's like the five pieces of exodia or something like that where it's like you need to have all five in order to like function so one of them is destroyed so does that weaken his magic power or like his control because, again, not fully explained. Juvia is semi-broken free, but she currently has no magic because the control of it's still under White Mage's control. And she info dropped a lot there. I got most of it, but when I'm editing, I'll hear it again. But basically, she wants to, like, white out everything and then just bleh, everybody. Then we had the fights squaring off. It's it's a uh, um, Gray versus the Thunder Legion. We still haven't gotten Windy and uh, Urza's fights yet, or, like their matchups. Obviously, Urza is going to go up against Jalal because, of course. Um, but I wonder who if Windy is going to be by herself with um, Carla, because yeah, because that would make more sense. Or either that or Windy's sticking with Urza. But again, that's. I want Wendy to stand out, because again, Wendy, I keep saying it, Wendy's the goat here. Like, freaking Wendy. <laughs> uh, Wendy is the actual goat of the series so far. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, then Natsu is facing off against Gajiel. I wonder where Loxus is right now, and if he's going to show up again. I also like that comeback Gray had, where it's like, I thought you were part of the cult of Loxus, you know? Um, happy Beat. Uh, Panther Lily beat. I mean, it's legitimate, but yeah. And then Lucy full on showed off a new star dress combination. So she could use two of them at the same time now. Freaking incredible, you know? <laughs> uh, again, Lucy's, Lucy's that character where it's like, 
she can absolute. I, I, there's multiple videos about it and like people talking about it. But it's like she can fully be like a badass, but she has that self confidence issues, and then she's constantly kind of getting overshadowed by everyone else, or like she feels like she is getting overshadowed and maybe a little bit of mental, but she allows herself to get overshadowed, you know. So also freaking, how can she not beat? them with two star dresses at the same time of course it must be draining her magic power like freaking crazy keeping two of them going <gasps> combination star dress two zodiac spirits out that must be draining her magic power like crazy right now i wonder how long she could keep that up i mean again only have to keep it up for as long as the fight lasts you know yeah it's it's like, everyone's after the Dragon Gods. Oh, and I wonder if we're going to be seeing Diablo pop up and snatch the Dragon God up for themselves, you know? Because that seems like something that they would do. Or, like, they have to interject themselves at some point. Because, again, they're kind of like that background thing. It's actually pretty interesting. I don't think we've had, in Fairy Tale yet, like, two villains, or, like, two groups facing off against each other like this. Like, almost a three-way battle. To my recollection, I don't think there was anything like that. Because we have, like, the White Mage and her faction, which includes Fairy Tail now. Then we have the Free Fairy Tail, and then now we have Diablo. So I wonder if we're going to get, like, a three-way fight at some point. Oh, what if Diablo appears and then uh, Loxus has to fight, fight them? Or, like, the other people have to fight them. Yeah, <laughs> what happened in this episode? So, really want to watch the next couple episodes. Oh, so eager. I want to watch this again. Yes, I'm fi it's like I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it. Yes, it took it took a little bit, but I'm feeling it. All right. Yeah. So this has been uh, Fairy Tale episode nine of the Hundred Year Quest. I've been Orange Gillen. Like, leave a comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And I shall see you all later. Elfman, Lisana, punish me, Jane, right now. Take that! Take that! Take that!